What's going on you guys? This is Dimension Scott back at you once again with a brand new video and today I'm going to give you guys my ranking of the DCEU from least to the best. Before we get into today's video, if you're brand new to my channel and don't know what my videos are all about, I love talking about things I'm passionate about. Movies, Blu-rays, DVDs, and video games, and also do Blu-ray hunting videos. If you're in all that type of stuff and you love physical media like me, you come to the right place. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe for more if you like what you see. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram with the same name as usual, Dimension Scott. Okay, it's been a hot long time since I've done a ranking video on this channel. I don't do rankings anymore because I, I just don't think I'm really good at explaining movies like a lot of critics do because I'm not a critical person. But I figured after some time, now that I got the Flash in the collection, I think I want to give you guys at least my DC ranking from that started with way back in 2013 with Man of Steel up until The Flash because as, as of late, I have not seen Blue Beetle. And we still got Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom coming out this late this year. So shall we begin? At last place at number 14 is Justice League. I will never forgive Warner Brothers for stripping away Zack Snyder's vision for these characters and replacing him with Joss Whedon because of a family tragedy and trying to interfere with all his plans and everything and resulted in this. With the release of Zack Snyder's Justice League, this is an embarrassment that ever exists. At number 13 is The Suicide Squad by James Gunn. This movie is a wacky, goofy kind of adventure criminal movie. I didn't like the giant starfish and I don't see how the goofy jokes and over the top R-rated blood in this movie makes it out to be the greatest comic book or, or should I say the greatest DCEU movie by a long shot. At number 12 is Aquaman. I think this movie is just fine, okay. I think the Atlantis location is stunning and on point, but people say this is the best DCEU movie, but nah, I disagree. I think I, I've seen better, which I will get into. At number 11 for me is Wonder Woman 1984. A lot of people didn't like this movie, but I, I didn't mind it. I just think the movie had an emotion story to tell and Gal Gadot and uh, Chris Pine still work amazingly together just like they did in the first one. So that's good enough for me. At 10th place is Black Adam. I enjoyed The Rock as Black Adam, the anti-hero, and I enjoyed the Justice Society of America taking on Black Adam, and the action was pretty fun as well. And I really wish we would have gotten to uh, what they were going to set up at the end of the movie, and I don't think that's going to happen, unfortunately, due to now our new leadership under James Gunn. At ninth place for me is Birds of Prey. I had a really good time with this movie that I saw in the theaters shortly before all the pandemic shut down and COVID and stuff. Uh, what I enjoyed it was that Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn gets to focus on herself, breaking away from the Joker, and I really enjoy the world, the soon-to-be world, supposed to be the Birds of Prey characters played by uh, some of the familiar cast in this movie, like Huntress and Black Canary and Aaron McGregor as Black Mask was great, and I really had a blast with that. Number eight for me is Suicide Squad. Each and every time I watch this movie, I enjoy it a lot better, especially now with James Gunn overly rated and stuff but until then i will enjoy this one for what it is until we get david Ayer's suicide squad someday at number seven for me is shazam fury of the gods i still enjoy zachary levi as uh shazam i still enjoy his adopted family being heroes together and i enjoy the villains of daughters or something like that and i think this movie deserves a lot more appreciation than what it already got even though it was a big bomb let down at the box office due to management changes and poor marketing but for what it is Shazam Fear of the Gods is definitely really entertaining. Number six for me is Wonder Woman. Gal Gadot is so great and finding men all these men in the world not so good all messed up and I enjoy her chemistry with Chris Pine Steve and his sacrifice was was really sad and uh, the action was really good and I think Zack Snyder had a lot more involved with this one writing the story so it's not my favorite but definitely really good by directed by Patty Jenkins really great number five is The Flash a very fun entertaining comic book movie 
Ezra Miller does a great job playing on not only the main DCEU Flash Barry Allen, but also the alternate timeline Barry Allen Flash, who was a really goofy head. And it's so great to see uh, Michael Keaton once again as Batman, like he never left. And there are a lot of Easter egg lines, there are a lot of uh, familiar locations from the Burton films, and a lot of callbacks and cameos to other DC movies that already happened before or never got to uh, be released or never got made. And Sasha Kai Supergirl, she is amazing. And it's sad to me that we may not see this incarnation of Supergirl, not even Michael Keaton's Batman ever again in this DCU, unless there was some crisis movie. Because there are actually plans for those to originally remain in the DCEU by the original regime but however with now the James Gunn leadership all that got scrapped and I don't know where they might ever if we'll ever see these characters ever again but on its own it's very a fun comic book movie and I really do enjoy it at number four is Shazam I had an awesome blast with this movie in the theaters and I still really dig it I love Zachary Levi as this character having a fun time being a superhero being strong with super speed lightning and I like the music and I like uh, his adopted family it's like it's really all about being family finding who who really cares about you than your own original mother who did not want him anymore so Shazam fear the uh, Shazam is such a great movie moving into my top three my number three for me is Man of Steel this is my favorite superhero comic book origin of all time Man of Steel is a masterpiece thanks to Henry Cavill thanks to Zack Snyder and his visual directing the music or score by Hans Zimmer General Zod is amazing villain and it has great action Henry Cavill will always be my favorite Superman of all time at number two is Batman v Superman I'm only addressing the ultimate cut that is the canon definitive cut of this movie period so anyway, Zack Snyder returned as director. Ben Affleck proved everybody wrong that he is an amazing Batman. And Henry Cavill is still great. And Gal Gadot's debut as Wonder Woman was amazing. And I remember everyone in my theater clapped when she came on screen to help Superman and Batman defeat that doomsday. And I think Jesse Eisenberg is a underappreciated Lex Luthor. I really am going to stay true to that. I will defend Lex Lex Luthor played by Jesse Eisenberg would. Uh, this is a very great, dark, serious comic book movie about Superman finding his place in the world and Batman trying to take down this godlike hero, godlike creature from another world. And I think Superman's sacrifice for the world is still great. It has a lot of chills and excellent goosebumps. Zack Snyder is one of the best visual DC directors I've ever seen. At number one is Zack Snyder's Justice League. I am so happy this movie came out. I'm, I'm so happy for all the hashtags released the Snyder Cut ever since after the mixedfully received reception about the theatrical uh, Justice League, Joss Whedon Justice League. Zack Snyder proved once again he can tell a great, serious, epic story with all your beloved characters with Superman. Batman, Wonder Woman, Flash, Cyborg, and Aquaman, and it even teased the big bad dark side. So I am definitely am on that side of uh, restore the Snyderverse, but Zack Snyder's Justice League will be the best DCU trilogy to me. Or should I say comic book movies of all time. So there we have it guys. What did you guys think of my ranking? How would you rank the DCEU if you see all the way up to the Flash or if you've seen Blue Beetle from worst to best let me know down below if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more and i will catch you guys later keep physical media alive peace out